Data acquisition linear features come in three types. Initially, when survey data is imported into the data acquisition fieldbook structure, the linear feature will be classified as a dynamic link linear feature. What this means is that the linear feature relies heavily on the way it is coded in the field for linking purposes. So if we go to select this one and edit the point feature, notice that the points are in a specific order and they begin, have a beginning and end link code. Modification of the link code can change the linear feature. As a close in this case, we'll close that shape. With this type of linear feature, the user does not have the ability to rearrange the point sequencing. It is as it was collected in the field. The second type of linear feature is a point list linear feature. The dynamic link linear feature can be reset to a point list linear feature, hovering over right click and convert to point list chain. Once converted, right hover and right click would allow us to manage the point list. Notice that it was automatically fitted to the screen. Now we have the ability to select any point and move them in the list. Obviously the result here is undesirable. Point being that once you have this point list you can modify the order that the list has been created. The third type of linear feature is a graphic linear feature. Let's move to the bulk area of the data set and enable the surface triangles. Okay, we can see that the surface triangles are currently displayed. We go to a CAD smart line tool and using a symbology that we can readily see. Let's insert some points. We'll go to the point features and disable the annotation to make it easier to locate. So again, let's place a point from there to there to there to there. Okay, so we now have a, a graphical linear feature. To add this graphical linear feature to our data set, we would go to Linear Features, Add Graphical Linear Features, select that linear feature. Notice immediately that the linear feature is inserted into the digital terrain model and that the triangulation reflects this. If we take a look to the boards at the bottom of our linear feature list, notice that the default symbology or feature is default. We can reset this to BC and immediately the linear feature symbology is reset to match that of the feature style BC. We can also rename this to BC underscore 100 for example to give it a name. Now that linear feature can be edited using microstation tools. and the DTM will automatically be reflected once the move has been accepted. This is the third type of linear feature available within the data acquisition toolset.